Welcome to the Mississippi Minute. Debates have become the hottest topic in the race for governor, and Jim Hood is under fire. Jim Hood has done very little campaigning in public, but this weekend he made an appearance at the Gold Strike Casino for a Democratic banquet. Hood was greeted at the casino by some foul play, in the form of three people in duck costumes who say Hood is ducking debates with Tate Reeves. So what's all the quacking about? Earlier this month, Hood had challenged Reeves to three debates. Hood bragged he would debate, quote, anytime and anywhere. Uh, I'm ready anytime, anywhere. Reeves then accepted the first two televised debates proposed in this campaign. The first debate in the governor's election is September 25th in Jackson at WJTV, the station that has put on three successful debates this year in Mississippi. The second debate is October 10th on the campus of Southern Mississippi in Hattiesburg, hosted by WHLT, Channel 22, and WJTV. Both debates will be broadcast to a statewide audience, just like the debates in the Republican primary and runoff. Hood has since publicly refused to attend the first debate. Thursday night, WJTV televised the first debate in the lieutenant governor's race, further establishing the station as Mississippi's proven debate station. Democrat Jay Hughes showed up along with Republican Delbert Hoseman. On Friday, Reeves said Hood needs to keep his word and accept these first two debates before any other are considered. Reeves's campaign released a video in response, highlighting for voters just how hard Hood is working to avoid debating for a full month. Calling on Hood to show up for the first debate just over a week away, Reeves' campaign says that the voters deserve to know where Hood stands on the issues. Jim Hood refused to debate his opponents in the Democratic primary, so the pressure's on to see if he is willing to be at the September 25th debate. We will keep you posted on whether Hood accepts or ducks. Live from the campaign trail, I'm Renee Easy with the Mississippi Minute.